I'm very surprised by some of the buzzwords and buzz phrases people use today in the corporate world. One of which is knowledge transfer. Of course, we want to transfer knowledge from one generation to the next generation. Naturally, we want to do that. Not just that, apart from transferring the knowledge, hopefully at each stage, it will also get enhanced. Otherwise, if when you transfer the knowledge, whatever is transferred, that knowledge becomes a little smaller from what transferred it. Eventually, it will go to zero. It will converge to zero, isn't it? So at some point, nobody will have any knowledge. So that should not happen. So there are two things. One is knowledge transfer. The other is knowledge amplification. So at each stage, people should think about things and you know, maybe add new things to it and add new dimensions to it and so on. But let's talk about just the knowledge transfer part itself. There's a huge misconception in my opinion that knowledge can be transferred by conveying information. That's wrong. In my opinion, that's totally wrong. You can convey all the information you want because today, because of the fact that there's no so much information available, people get confused between that and acquisition of knowledge. So the question is, what exactly is knowledge transfer and how do you do that and how does it happen? Well, one way is what we're doing right now, which is I speak, you listen, or maybe you look at me. So there's body language, there's words and so on. To explain this properly, I'm going to rely upon some very fundamental things from electricity and magnetism, because it's not that much different. So. A, what we call a signal, a signal is a change in current or waveform. And the change actually conveys some information. That's what a signal is. Right? And anybody who's studied physics or electrical engineering, even at a very fundamental level knows this. So the question is, in my life, are things changing? I hope so. Because there's no change, there's no meaning. Right? So if something is steady, nothing changes, there's no meaning to it. So things should be changing, right? The question is, as I get experiences and as I learn new things, how do I transfer it to another person? Because after all, that person doesn't have the experiences that I had. So without creating that experience in that person, is there some way I can transfer that knowledge or not? That is, that is knowledge transfer in my opinion. So if you take a signal, if you take a changing waveform, current or voltage, I suppose there is a point A and a point B here, and I want to send it from A to B. In my opinion, there are basically three ways of doing that. Each one is better than the previous one. The simplest way is I connect a wire. That's the easiest way. I connect a wire, I push this current here, and it comes out at the other side. Now, it turns out that that is fine, you can do that, but one of the requirements is that that wire should have very little resistance. It should not oppose that flow, right? But even let's assume that these words that we use or the body language we use, visual, audio, whatever we use to convey this knowledge, not information, to transfer the knowledge. If I use that medium, the question is, is that a good enough medium or is there any limitation in that? There is severe limitation in this. Here's the reason why. Again, if you go to basic physics or basic electrical engineering, there's a concept called skin effect. Basically, what happens is this. If the higher component in anything, there is a shallow knowledge. And as you go deeper and deeper and deeper, there is more and more knowledge, right? So the question is, those things that are very deep also, I want to convey to the other side, not just a shallow level thing. So what happens here is that when I send, send the signal from point A to point B, 
basically what happens is if i push this charge it so happens that in that wire if the frequency is very low that means it's very simple shallow knowledge that will go across no problem it will go right across and whatever you send here will show up at the other end but if it has in depth meaning subtleties when i say in depth subtleties in what we are trying to transfer those are what we refer to as a higher frequency components it turns out that as you go to higher and higher frequencies this so called skin effect what it does is it will not go through the center of that wire it start going towards the surface of the wire and if you go to even higher frequencies so suppose you are trying to convey something very abstract and very subtle it will actually travel outside that conductor outside that wire now you went from a electrical signal which is basically a charge flowing to something magnetic or electromagnetic it's like waves traveling on top now what happens is when it goes to the other end something referred to as matching so there's something called characteristic impedance so the characteristics of this wire should be the same as what is transmitting this signal otherwise it won't even get there and when it goes to the other end the characteristics of the wire should be matched to the characteristics of the recipient so when i'm transferring knowledge the question is is there a mismatch between my characteristics and the knowledge i'm trying to transfer and that medium that i'm using or not first thing there should be matching let's assume there is even then when it gets to the other end is there matching between the characteristics of this conducting medium and the recipient if there's a mismatch we refer to that as reflection so it will it will come right back to the sender right and there's a mismatch so if there is no proper match i'll give you an example right suppose i'm trying to teach you something question is why do i want to teach you that and what is your reason for trying to learn that if my goal is different from yours my goal is because i get pleasure in knowledge but your goal is you're thinking can i monetize this knowledge there's a mismatch so it actually doesn't go across it comes right back so there has to be matching between the the transmitter the medium and the recipient but this is a very low level knowledge transfer we think it's very great but actually it's not it's very very low level i'll tell you a second way which is used all the time and you were showing me you know an antenna so if i use an antenna suppose the transmitting entity has an antenna and a very it sends it at a very high frequency now it is sent at a very high frequency right so that high frequency signal you cannot send low frequency in antenna only high frequency can be sent so that high frequency subtleties and all that is transmitted with some power by this transmitting antenna then there is this receiving antenna at the other end that has to receive that thing now for that to happen two things are required just like in the first case we need matching everywhere here the two things are required one thing is both of them should be antennas to start with an antenna is inductive in nature and inductive nature without going into the details of it is basically sattvic nature right so if the transmitter doesn't have a sattvic nature it cannot really transmit if it has rajasic or tamasic if it is in other words if you have intentions when you're doing this if you have intentions of making money or getting famous or some random thing that's not sattvic knowledge for the sake of knowledge you know Uh, bliss from knowledge if that is what i'm getting in transmitting then it will get transmitted no problem it will get transmitted where in space it will get transmitted in space it goes everywhere it's not just going from point a to point b it's going everywhere now how far does it go well it depends on how my strength so if you happen to be in the vicinity you need to be connected if you happen to be in the vicinity where you're within that radius of my 
power to transmit if you also have an antenna that means you also should be satvik so you 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 are receiving this only because bliss in knowledge no other reason then you'll re- but there's a second requirement which is the frequency at which, at which this is transmitting should be the same as the frequency at which it's receiving so there should be tuning it should be tuned the two things should be tuned to each other so if there's a mismatch in the frequency tuning also it doesn't work so we should be on the same wavelength in other words if that happens that's the second so the second way you can send lot more subtle abstract deeper knowledge then you can send the first one so you always have to ask yourself if you're a shishya and you're talking to a guru you should you have to ask yourself am i tuned with my guru am i in tune or is my life very different from this guy if that is the case i can, you know you the transmitter can transmit all it wants with as much power as necessary but the recipient gets nothing if there's no tuning and that satvik nature is very important very very important but this way at one shot you can transmit to whole number of people just like a radio station transmits and there are, there may be thousands of re- radios that are receiving this similarly all these things that are tuned can receive all these things but even that is not the best way because here there is one limitation which is that the transmission is required so the transmitter has to decide to take some knowledge and transmit it what if it's not doing that is there any way where the recipient will always get what is in the transmitter and the answer is yes in basic physics and electrical engineering we call that a transformer see a transformer is basically two windings wound on the same ferrite material so what happens is the transmitter if it is if it is inductive in nature it doesn't have to transmit anything whatever is in it it doesn't matter whatever it is in it right that will create a magnetic field around it so if you look at a true guru there is that that field of knowledge around him or her it's always there right all you need this is what you need for the recipient to be wound on the same core that's all so in other words your the inductive part the satvik part has to cut through that magnetic field when it happens automatically anything on this side will come on this side you don't have to use any words nothing you don't have to no teaching no talking nothing is required whatever is here will automatically show up there and this is probably the best way and in our land for thousands of years they knew this so knowledge transfers they used all three by the way they used all three people sat and talked that's one way but they understood the limitations of that so they also sit somewhere and and transmit and those who can receive will receive those that are batch they will receive that but there are times when they didn't transmit or anything they are not even thinking of doing that but those that are wound on the same thing automatically whatever is here will show up here automatically you, no effort is required on either side but that requires very good coupling two satvik things a satvik guru and a satvik shishya wound on the same thing automatically this will show up there with no effort on the two sides so knowledge transfer is not mere transferring information you can collect information about a topic and that you can put in words pictures whatever but there's something there is no way you can transfer the depth of knowledge and the subtleties of anything i don't care what the subject is to the other side unless this happens so a true knowledge transfer happens in a true guru shishya sambandha 
in a true relationship between a guru and a shishya, where these two people are bound on the same thing. That is knowledge transfer.